Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 322. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IP base, etc. I'm Ritvisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Lepidopterology is a branch of biology which deals with the following. Correct answer is it deals with moths and butterflies. Lepidopterology is a branch of entomology concerning the scientific study of moths and the three superfamilies of butterflies. Someone who studies in this field is a lepidopterist or archaically an aurelian. Which among the following is correct about viruses? Correct answer is they either have DNA or RNA. Most viruses have either RNA or DNA as their genetic material. The nucleic acid may be single or double stranded. The entire infectious virus particle called a virion consists of the nucleic acid and an outer shell of protein. In which of the following cloaca which is the posterior opening that serves as the only such opening for the intestinal, reproductive and urinary tracts is present. Of course we know they are not present in humans but they are present in apes, amphibians and reptiles. In animal anatomy, a cloaca is the posterior orifice that serves as the only opening for the digestive, reproductive and urinary tracts of many vertebrate animals opening at the vent. Which among the following rubby crop cannot tolerate frost at any stage of its life? Correct answer is gram. A good rain in winter spoils the rubby crops but it is good for carif crops. The major rubby crop in India is wheat followed by barley, mustard, sesame and peas. Biological oxygen demand is a measure of what? It is a measure of pollution in a water body. Biochemical oxygen demand or BOD is a chemical procedure for determining the amount of dissolved oxygen needed by aerobic biological organisms in a body of water to break down organic material present in a given water sample at certain temperature over a specific time period. At which of the following places first global conference on depletion of ozone layer was held? It was held in Vienna. The Vienna Convention for Protection of the Ozone Layer is a multilateral environmental agreement signed in 1985 that provided frameworks for international reduction in the production of chlorofluorocarbons due to their contribution to the destruction of the ozone layer and resulting increase in the threat of skin cancer. In which of the following the ecological pyramid of numbers is broad in center? It is broad in forest ecosystem. A pyramid of numbers shows the number of individual organisms involved at each tropic level in an ecosystem. So uh, if you have more decomposers than producers, then it would be an inverted pyramid. If there are more primary producers than the end of the uh, pyramid, in that case, it will be your intact py a pyramid, which is an upright pyramid. In case of forest, it is a spindle shaped pyramid which is the center is like wider than the top and the bottom. In which of the following temperature conditions the dominant vegetation is tropical deciduous forest? Correct answer is in mesotherms. A mesotherm is a type of animal with a thermoregulatory strategy intermediate to cold blooded ecotherms and warm blooded endotherms. So the cold blooded are known as ectotherms, warm blooded as endotherms and the one in between is known as mesotherms. The pneumatophores are negatively geotropic roots which grow upward and are meant for gaseous exchange. These are characteristics of who? These are characteristics of halophytes. A halophyte is a salt tolerant plant that grows in waters of high salinity coming into contact with saline water through its roots or by salt spray, such as in saline semi-deserts, mangrove swamps, marshes and slopes and seashores. Consider the following. One is calcicoles, two is calcifuges and three is calcareous. Which among the above plants grow in most acidic soil? Calcifuges grow in the most acidic soil. It is a plant that does not tolerate alkaline soil. The word is derived from the Latin to flee from chalk because chalk is alkaline. 
that is all for today's quiz until the next video goodbye